Hello everyone, you're welcome back. This is part three of three of the solution to the Cambridge IGCSE mathematics written in May June 2024. Uh, question 17 W equals to a student who walk to school, G equals to students who wear glasses. There are 20 students in a class, so that means the universe set is 20. Uh, three wear glasses and walk to school. That means we have the intersection of the two to be three. Two do not wear glasses and do not walk to school. They will be outside the two sets, but part of the population. So you put two here. Okay. Um, we have to and eight walk to uh, school. Okay. So if eight walk to school, I already have three here. So that means we have the remaining five here because. The whole of this circle, okay, should add up to 8. So we already have 3 here. Eh? So the remaining should be 8 minus 3. The 8 minus uh, 3, that is 5. Okay, now we need to get this. So the total population is 20. We already have 5 here. We have 3 here, eh? that is 8. We have 2 here, eh? that is uh, 10. So the remaining 10 people should be here. So that means for uh, those that wear glasses are. Uh, 13 and those that wear glasses only are 10 okay and those that uh, walk to school are 8 and those that walk to school only are 5 and uh, that is just the uh, simple way of completing that so the next one will be question 18 so question 18 we have the curve there so the graph of y equals f of x is drawn on the grid so draw the tangent to the uh, graph at the uh, point x equals to 3 so this is where we are expected to draw the um, tangent so which I I drew this earlier okay so that it will not be uh, time uh, wasting okay so that is what you just have to do you have to place your ruler at this point where x equals to 3 on the curve then you make sure uh, the distance here is very close a little bit okay just like they are the same okay it shouldn't be uh, narrow here and wide at one end you know okay so that's what you have to uh, put into consideration okay so when you do that now so we have to select uh, two points so i'm selecting this one so that is how to draw the tangent now so to calculate the uh, gradient now so use your tangent to find an estimate for the gradient of the curve at point s equals to three so i'll take this point and i'll take this point okay so at this point now so i know x equals to four and y will be equals to uh let's say this now I can take this okay y will be equals to this so that is about um, 10 point um, something okay so I'll, I'll still uh, come back to uh, to that so this about let's see the value of a line here so we have zero to two here so if this is let's say okay this is two divided by five okay so that is uh, 0 0.4 so that means each line here is um, 0 0.4 Let's write the coordinates of the two points, okay? So for this one here, x equals to 3. So I can take x1, okay? x1 equals to 3 and y1. So if I trace this one, okay, from here, this particular line. So let's draw, let's use a line here. So from here, let's trace the value of y. So it should be here somewhere here okay so but let's use a broken line okay so that will help a lot okay so you have it to be here so sorry let's take it like this somewhere here like this so this will be the value of y okay for this particular point okay so that is um four so don't forget the value of a line is 0 0.4 so i have 4.4 4.8 and we have 5.2 so y1 will be equals to 
okay so let's take for the second one x2 will be equals to this particular one x2 equals to 4 then y2 will be equals to so this is um uh, 10 okay and you have a point here so that is this particular one so let's draw it here like this okay so okay, let's take it from here okay so it will be this line that is 10.4 so that's 10.4 so using the formula change in y over change in s we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so that will be equals to 10.4 minus 5.2 over uh, 4 minus uh, 3 so that will be equals to 5.2 so the estimated uh, gradient is 5.2 okay so question 19 y is directly proportional to this okay so uh, that is y is directly proportional to x minus 1 all squared so which is the same as y equals to k into x minus 1 squared so when x equals to uh, 4 y is equals to 3 so that means again to have 3 equals to k into the value of x is um, 4 so you have 4 minus 1 that is 3 then squared so this sorry uh, x equals to 4 y equals to 3 okay yes so that is 4 minus 1 okay 4 minus 1 is uh, 3 okay so this will be uh, 3 equals to uh, 3 squared is 9 9 times k is 9k so we divide both sides by so this implies that k is equals to uh, 3 over 9 which is equals to 1 over 3 so from here now so we can see that um, let's write this now so this would be y equals to k 1 over 3 okay into x minus 1 or squared okay so now we want to find the value of y when x equals to 7 so that will be y equals to 1 over 3 into 7 minus 1 or squared so you have y to be equals to 1 over 3 into 7 minus 1 that is 6 so 6 squared that will be 36 okay so you have uh, 3 year 1 3 year 1 3 in 6 we have 2 so y is equals to 12 okay so that is what we get as the value of y part b m is inversely proportional to the square root of p explain what happens to the value of m when the value of p is multiplied by 9 okay so let's write this statement mathematically so that will be m varies m inversely proportional to the square root of p so inversely proportional to the square root of p so this is what we have and uh, this is the same as um, okay let's say uh, let's say this implies m equals to k over square root of p okay so if we multiply um, the value of p by 9 so we're going to have we we'll get m equals to k over root um, 9 p okay so and we can square root of 9 equals to 3 so this implies that um, m equals to k over um, 3 root p okay so if you compare this one let's say this is uh, question one and this is question two okay so if you compare the two you see that um, the value of m in equation two uh, becomes smaller by one third so that we that is what will happen to the value of m when the value of p is multiplied by m so write uh, the value 
of m becomes smaller by one third so this is what we write here so let's go to the next question two parcels are mathematically similar the large parcel has volume 80 centimeter cube okay so we can say that uh, v1 to be equals to 80 centimeter cube and height so you can say h1 to be equals to 5.2 centimeters this one up as as volume of that's v2 okay 33.75 centimeters cube okay calculate the height of the smaller pass of the smaller parcel so that is h2 okay so we can use the relationship uh, between uh, the uh, scale factor and then the uh, volume so that is we can say that the volume which is let's divide this like this so you can say v1 okay so over v2 equals to h1 cube okay over h2 cube okay so that is what you can have here so if you key in the values so you should get 80 over 33.75 equals to 5.2 cube over h2 cube okay so if you cross multiply okay so and divide by 80 so if you cross multiply you multiply this by this and this by this so from there you can get the value of h2 cube to be equals to uh, 33.75 multiplied by 5.2 cube divided by 80 so if you do this okay you get h2 cube to be equals to 59.3 if we take a root of both sides we have h2 to be equals to cube root of 59.3 and that will give you 3.90 centimeters so we have 3.90 so three to three uh, to three significant figures okay question 21 so solve the simultaneous equation you must show all your working okay so let's divide this like this okay good so let's take this 4y plus 3x equals to 13 as equation 1 then y equals to x squared minus 18 okay as equation 2 so let's save from 1 okay so let's make y the subject of the formula so that will be uh, 4y equals to 13 minus 3x then y is equals to 13 minus 3x over 4 so you can call this uh, 3 okay so let's scroll down a little bit okay so you can extend this so uh, put 3 into 1 okay so if we do that we get 13 minus 3x over 4 so that is at the value of y here when you pass it into equation 2 then it goes to x squared minus 18 okay so if you cross multiply so we'll get uh, 13 minus 3x equals to 4 into x squared minus 18 if you expand this bracket you get 13 minus 3x equals to 4x squared then minus 18 times 4 will give you 72 so let's write that minus 72 okay so if you rearrange you have 0 to be equals to 
4x squared okay so minus 3x we go so that would be plus 3x okay then we have minus 72 we have minus 13 so we have 0 to be equals to 4x squared plus 3x and minus 85 okay so this is the quadratic equation we need to solve okay so let's write this up here so we can write this as um okay 4x squared i think uh, we have k plus 3x and minus 85 yes that's correct equals to zero okay so let's see if we can use factorization method so this multiplied by this will give you 340 let's see if we can get um, um pair of two numbers that multiply to give um 340 and sum is uh, 3 okay so let's see if you do 340 let's divide by 2 so 2 and 3 1 so 3 and 14 7 we have 0 so we have 2 times 17 uh, 2 times 170 to be 340 okay so i can take 10 here to make this since i have 17 here Okay, I can have something like 20 and 17. So because that will give me 3. So I can say this is the same as 2 times 17. Okay. So times uh, 2 times 17 times 10. Okay. So I can now have 2 times 10, 20. So that means 20 multiplied by 17 will give me 340. And 20 minus 17 will give me 3. Okay. <coughs> so that is good. So from here, I can say that I have 4x squared, okay, then plus 20x minus 17x minus 85 equals to 0. So if we factor out 4 from these two, so this is 20, okay. So I have 4x into x, okay, then plus 5. Then minus 17 into x then plus 5 so 17 times 5 will give you 85 okay and that's pretty okay okay so let's scroll down so i have 4x minus 17 into x plus 5 equals to 0 so 4x minus 17 equals to 0 implies x equals to 17 over 4 Okay, and also x plus 5 equals to 0 implies that x equals to negative 5. Okay, so I need to get uh, the values of y now. So here I know that x equals to um, negative 5. Okay, and x equals to uh, 17 over 4. So which I can also write as a decimal number okay so let's find the value of y when x equals to uh, those two values respectively okay let's start with the first one when okay x equals to negative 5 okay so let's scroll up we have y is equals to comma y equals to minus 5 squared minus 5 squared minus 18 y equals to 25 minus 18 y equals to 7 7 okay so when s equals to negative 5 y equals to 7 also when x equals to um, 17 over okay which you can write as a decimal uh, number for convenience sake otherwise we could leave it like this and just input everything into your calculator so when x equals to 17 over 4 okay comma so y will be equals to 17 over 4 all squared minus 18 so you can input this into your calculator and this will give you 1 over 16 so 1 over 16 so that's what you get so y is equals to 1 over 
16. So let's go. Let's look into the next question. That is question 22. Question 22A. We want to go one for each sketch. For each sketch, put a ring around the correct type of function shown. So for this, this is um, cubic. So this will be cubic. We have to go two. Uh, this is reciprocal. Let's go to part B. So that is B. We have to go one and the grid sketch the curve y equals to sin x for x is less than or equals for zero is less than or equals to x uh, and x is less than or equals to 360 degrees okay so we come to rest here to come to rest here and it will come to rest here so it will start from here and it goes up okay then it's sorry it shouldn't be more than this i can indicate this okay like this okay then it enters here okay then it comes and maintains this height here and it ends here remember if you got two solve the equation sine x plus 0 0.4 4 equals to 0 for this given range so um, that will be sine x equals to negative 0 0.4 so let's take sine inverse of both sides so x will be equals to sine inverse of negative 0 0.4 so if you input this into your calculator, you should get the value of x to be negative um, 23.6. Okay, so uh, this is out of the given range. So negative 23.6 is not part of the solution. Okay, so let's sketch the angles here. So we have all students take calculus or add sugar to coffee. Okay so um 23.6 okay will be uh to start from zero okay so negative sign tells us that it moves towards this direction not up okay so it will be here so that is towards this direction so that will be 23.6 okay and that angle is the same as this angle 20 3.6 okay so now we need where sign is negative so it's negative here and here so the first angle will be from me uh, sorry let's take that so the first solution will be from zero towards this direction and up to this quadrant here so that will be the first solution that will be a hundred and eighty add twenty three point six. Okay, so x because to a hundred and eighty uh, plus twenty three point six. So if you do that, that will give us two hundred and three point six. So which is equals to two hundred and three point six. Okay, so that will be the first value two zero three point six. So the second solution will be from here okay up to this spot this is where sign is also negative so this will be 360 degrees minus um 23.6 so that will be x can i scroll down okay so we can just do something here so x equals to 360 then minus 20 3.6 okay so x is equals to 336.4 so 336.4 so the venn diagram shows the information about the number of students in a class okay so 
some students uh, some study english e some study french f some study spanish s and some do not study any of the uh, any of these languages okay a find the number of people okay in this set okay so uh, for s the number of uh, people we have in s okay so that will be uh, this so number of s that is for spanish number of uh, students that um, study spanish will be equals to the rule of this that is two add one three three add three six add four that is ten okay okay so um to get the other one here that is e union f that is english combined with uh, french okay so that's the in the complement of english union french so this is english okay let me just show you okay this is english okay union french okay let's combine them together good now so we need uh, those students outside the shaded region so that will be this and this okay so of course we've already uh, counted these four people okay so we don't need to repeat these four people okay so the only one we need to add to it now is uh, five okay so so that means this will be equals to 10 plus 5 okay so that will be uh, 15 so let's move this so we are good to go for that so let's go to the next uh, part that is part b one student is picked at random from those who study spanish so don't forget those who study spanish are just 10 okay so find the probability that uh, this student studies exactly two languages so we have two and three two people study two people study uh, english and then spanish and three people study spanish and french okay so that would be two add uh, three okay so that would be two plus three over ten which equals to five over ten which is equals to uh, one over two uh, zero point five okay or fifty percent okay anyone so i'll go with uh, one out of two okay so uh, the next question will be uh, question 24 which is the last uh, question okay so o is the origin and o p q r is a parallelogram as you can see so m is the midpoint of p q that is p m and then m q are equal don't forget the direction is this and it's like this because it's equal to this uh, vector OR and they are moving in the same direction okay good then um, an N divides QR okay it divides QR in the ratio 2 to 1 okay so this is QR okay ratio 2 to 1 so uh, since we have op to be like this and rq also op is parallel to rq so i can put the direction up here like this so that this is what we're going to have here so that means rq is also um a that's the value so and the ratio of this to this is two to one so that means this will be uh one out of 3a okay and this will be that is from here to here okay so from here to here will be 2 out of 3a okay then this place um, or equals to b so p q equals to b as well so this would be b 1 over 2 1 1 over 2b 
this will also be 1 over 2b so that is what we have here so find mn give your answer in terms of a and or b and in its simplest form so mn will be this so we can say that mn let's write mn equals to mq plus uh, qn so that will be mq will be 1 over 2b plus qn so i have nq to be 2 over 3a so then n uh, qn will now be minus 2 over 3a these two signs combined together to become negative that is this and this so we have 1 over 2b minus 2 over 3a so that will be our final answer so we can write 1 over 2b then minus 2 over 3a as the final answer part b part b the lines mn and or are extended to meet at s find the position vector of s give your answer in terms of a and or b and in the simplest form so from here os equals to or plus os so let's write that so vector os is equals to or plus r s so that is the position vector so if you look at this uh, diagram you see that these two uh, triangles are similar so i can draw them side by side so let's sketch it here okay so for the first one we have something like this okay so let's draw this and finally let's join these together so let's draw the second one and we'll label them together this will be the bigger one or something like this okay so let's label them so we have the first one this is r n s okay so let's look at this that is r n s and the direction of r n is like this okay going up and r s is like this okay so let's go down so we have something like this and like this so the value of r n okay is equals to 1 over 3 a so that is 1 over 3 a okay so we don't know r s so for the second one so if i flip this n would be up then q should be by this side and um, m should be by this side okay so this is what we're going to get n will be up here then we have q here and finally we have m here so if you look at the direction of n q n q is going up like this as we are moving from n to q okay and we are moving from m to q okay so let's scroll down like this so uh, n to q be like this and we also have m to q so to be this and the value of n q n q is equals to 2 over 3 a and uh, m q is 1 over 2 b okay so let's write here for n q we have 2 over 3 a and for m 
Q, we have 1 over 2B. So, by uh, comparison, okay, let's write here, by comparison, okay, like this. So, we have Rn, okay, that's vector Rn over Rs. Will be equals to vector q n over vector q m okay so let's substitute the values r n equals to 1 over 3 a over vector r s 1 to find equals to q n that is minus 2 over 3 a over qm that is minus 1 over 2 uh, b okay so this implies that the cross multiply okay so that is uh, we're going to have rs multiplied by minus 2 over 3 so that means you can have minus 2 over 3 a okay multiplied by rs so that will be equals to uh, the product of these two, that is uh, minus 1 over 2b, minus 1 over 2b, then multiplied by 1 over 3a, okay, so you cannot divide both sides, so by minus 2 over 3a, okay, minus 2 over 3a so the whole of this will cancel the whole of this so here minus cancel minus a cancel a then 3 cancel 3 okay so we'll be left with uh, the value of average to be uh, we have 2 here so we have 2 here so that means this implies that R S will be equals to uh, one over so this is one over two b and we have two here so to be one over um, two okay divided by two so that will be one over four so that is one over two okay so divided by this uh, two. Okay, so if we do this to give us rs, so let's put the arrow, will be equals to 1, uh, 1 over 2b rather, okay, so to be equals to 1 over 4b. So if you change this to multiplication, so you flip 2 over 1 to become 1 over 2, so you have 1 over 4b. So these are the two we have out here, we have this and these two up here left, okay, so because 3 has already cancelled 3, A has already cancelled A, okay, so we are left with those two, so we cannot come back to this one, so you can see, so therefore, uh, the vector OS, position vector OS equals to vector OR, which we know the value, plus vector RS, we just found that, so this will be equals to, Vector OR from the diagram, you can see it. OR equals to uh, B. So we have B plus uh, 1 over 4 B. So if you add this together, you get um, 5 over 4 B. So that will be uh, the vector OS. So you have 5 over for B. So this is the end of solution to uh, the IGCSE mathematics uh, paper 21 written in uh, May, June 2024. So in the next video, I'll be solving uh, the questions. That is, I'll be making a video to the solution to paper 41 written in May, June 2024. Until then, have your fingers crossed.